guys welcome back to my channel gypsy shiva and today is friday and the second last day of the classes and i'm here at the terrace of our ashram and it looks beautiful the sun is just rising up right now so guys today is normal class routine but i'm really happy because tomorrow my family is coming to see me so yeah i'm gonna see my kids so i'm really 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 very happy and i woke up thinking today that today is the last day that and tomorrow i'll see my family so it's a pretty nice experience and i'm on the terrace second time and it looks beautiful from here you can see all the ganges river till the end so it looks pretty 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 beautiful keep watching the clouds maybe it will rain maybe it will not because the sun usually comes around this time comes up from this side So guys, I'm back from my three hours class in the morning, five to six, six to seven, seven to nine, almost three and a half hours with like half an hour break. And look at it, guys. If you don't believe me, this is how much I sweat like in last seventy uh, minutes. And though we didn't do the complete seventy minutes exercise, it was like on and off because he was teaching us also, and we were doing the exercise also. So teaching, exercise, teaching, exercise, so and look at it. Everything is like wow. And I feel so fresh if I do yoga in the morning. Right now I'm just going to take shower, wash my clothes. Half of the clothes are washed, half of the clothes are left. So I'm gonna keep washing the clothes and uh, then I will take bath and it's the breakfast time almost it's nine nine already, almost nine two so get ready for the exciting day not is exciting but yeah there are many things to do today uh, because i feel full of energy yesterday i didn't took three classes but today i took all the classes so yeah so guys now i'm gonna be telling you what i taught uh, so guys now i'm gonna be telling you what they teach in last two days so basically i buy another book because this book is uh, this notebook is quite rough so uh, I do it in a little hurry whatever they teach so I just put it very 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 fast so now I'm gonna tell 
what after they teach us so guys uh, they were teaching us about asana that i already told you that asana is practice with patience and continuous will will with consistency so you need to press practice basic postures uh, different asanas and you need to practice them with patience and continuous with con will with continuous will and consistency so you need to do it consistently and then they teach about us mantra so you must have heard about mantras different mantras in india hindu mantras so what does it mean basically these are the tools and instrument of mind and uh, you need to repeat them repetition is necessary to remove impurities so they talk about om what all om includes so om is brahma vishnu mahesh it's a trinity and feminine is saraswati lakshmi and kali the first mantra they talk about is the beej mantra the seed mantra then they talk about mooladhara chakra the root chakra they talk about the vedic mantra that was given by ved vyas so they they didn't explain it what it was but they just but just explaining what all is there in all these classes then we come to the balance then the next day they give us the class of sadhana so in sadhana they talk about the balance the dissolution stillness silence silence when you are in silence it becomes action and silence why we talk what are desires emotions why we express we express to release emotions they talk about again like what eating has to do with the chakras so root chakras and the mool chakra mool chakra or the root chakra is related to food they talk about the throat chakras so so chakras are basically the different center points in our body Uh, the energy points different energy points uh, that are located in the spine and uh, that are located inside our body so to try to balance yourself you need to also balance chakras and uh, everything the sounds that we make the things that we do all are affected by these chakras and also we affect by our action these chakras and if we can control these chakras it's a very big big science to control these chakras and there is a proper science behind it believe it or not guys i also didn't knew so many things but yes there is actually a science behind it like our anatomic teacher relates everything about the body structure with the yoga what is all there so it it must be sounding magical to you guys that there are energy points in our body and we have to like uh, balance it out but at the same time it's true that there are energy points in our body believe it or not guys and they affect us hugely in day to day life and by becoming or doing yoga sadhana you can actually balance them and create more positive energy behind you so the sole purpose is to create positive energy and do sadhana to attain the union of the self with the divine so it takes a lot of efforts let me keep continuing what all the teachers so they talk about one omkar sadhana how to do omkar sadhana uh, so in the omkar sadhana in the next class they talk teachers about more and they talk about uh, pranayam pranayam is basically the breathing uh exercises that you need to do and uh, what all you need to do so they teach us like the first day uh, they teach us how many seconds we inhale and how many seconds we exhale so this needs to be in balance for example my inhalation is for 2 seconds but my exhalation is for 3 seconds so it something is wrong with my breathing but with practice it's nothing wrong it's normal for other people but to be more conscious about your breathing you need to balance it out he they also talk about uh, so the last day i keep it empty to write what is there so they also talk about inhaling the breath for 10 seconds and exhaling the breath for 10 seconds to know where i was struggling so even if you try this practice yourself watching this video so they taught about like inhaling for 10 second how it affects and exhaling 
how it affects so first three seconds my breathing was pretty good i could inhale very good but at the fourth fifth uh, second i was struggling so i couldn't inhale any more longer because my lungs according to me was full six seven eight seconds if i have to breathe more i had to force the breathing into my lungs and in the nine ten second i couldn't inhale anymore so this 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 exercise was to understand our breath how one breath works so for every person in the class is different for me it was this so in exhaling from one to six second it was very very good i could exhale very easily and the average was from seven to ten second like i would not give it good i will not give it bad but yeah i was exhaling good so there are three basic breathing abdominal thoracic and uh, clavicular and the collar so you need to breathe from three places i have a diagram here so uh, you need to breathe from your abdominal from your stomach you need to breathe from your lungs and from your collar bone so they teach us about this and fast breathing causes heart problem and blood pressure problem if you are breathing fast that means there is something wrong with your heart or blood pressure then we talk about anatomy there was an anatomy class so in anatomy class they teach us about different purusharth so this is a journey that uh, what all a uh, person do in his life so basically they do duty is this is sanskrit in sanskrit okay so dharma artha kaam moksha so when so when you are talking about dharma is the duty that everyone has to perform related to their family related to the work then they also we also live for wealth we need to accumulate some wealth to survive kaam we also have desires we need to fulfill our desires to feel happy and the end is liberation or nirvana or moksha so these four things are the purusharth that are present in vedas vedas are the ancient uh, scriptures of hindu religion so there are lot a lot a lot of uh, information that is there in the vedas then there is the age at what age you need to perform what things so 0 to 25 is brahmacharya like you need to learn a new things in life you need to keep learning have more knowledge then is the grastaram this 25 to 30 age you need to have family and you Uh, live your life in like a family man then 50 to 75 is the vampras you need to go to forest to learn uh, solitude to learn many things that you have not learned in these 50 years and if you are all good at 75 you can go and leave everything that's the age correct age to leave everything and attain sanyas and attain liberation from the materialistic world then our body is made up of five elements this you all know air fire water earth and other space then we talk about uh, yoga philosophy the sufferings that uh, a person has so uh, the suffering is because of the detach uh, the suffering is because of the attachment i have already told you but there are three types of suffering adibhavik adhi daivik adhi bhautik adhyatmik so adhyat adhi devik is natural suffering that you get from natural uh, natural from the nature like earthquake and you suffer because of that then is adhi bhautik that is the materialistic pain that you get from your things when your you lose something your house goes your car goes and uh, adhyatmik is the suffering caused by our own emotions that for example possessiveness or something like that then they talked about the philosophies there are like western philosophies there are eastern philosophies in eastern in philosophies they talked about nine philosophies six orthodox and three unorthodox so these are the ancient scriptures this was more modern and buddha is the more modern one then more important part the hat yoga what is hat yoga so hat yoga as you know behind i told you before that hat yoga is like you know uh, you need to get into 
प्रैक्टिस एंड यू नीड टू डू इट विद पेशेंस एंड यू नीड टू डू इट विद कंटिन्यूस विल देर आज मोर मीनिंग टू हथ योगा इट्स ए सन एंड मून योगा सो यू आर कनेक्टिंग दिस टू एनर्जीज टूगेदर इट कैन बी सन ऑन मून मस्कुलाइन फेमिलाइन माइंड और हार्ट एक्टिव पैसिव यंग यंग देर आर मैनी वेज टू टेल द टू अपोजिट एनर्जीज एंड इट हेयर इट टॉक्स अबाउट द सेवन लिम्स ऑफ योगा दैट इज अगेन सो गाइज हेयर द मेन कंसेप्ट कम्स ऑफ चक्रास दे ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द चक्रास सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू परफॉर्म हथ योगा टू डू चक्रास and this is only five chakras are here there are two more chakras that are present here at like this so the energy flows through these chakras in your spine and you need to make them in as center as possible so you need to basically balance them out i cannot tell you more because it's a very 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 vast topic that even a practice of 20 years you cannot get and after that uh, they talk about uh, eight limbs again there is so now some interesting part come that is uh, in hatha yoga they also talk about the alignment the alignment of breath blood circulation energy and joint so this was quite uh, new for me that you need to align all this to do asanas postures and then they also talk about adjustment how to make the asanas more good so it can be verbal hand on the other person can help you props modification and approach to the asana how you need to approach physically mentally emotionally spiritually and then not much then we just today we just learned about the stang yoga the we learned the sun salutation a and sun salutation b so these are the basic things that today i am talking about is just the introduction part of all the subjects they talk about the standing poses two standing poses and then they talk about the ayurvedic anatomy that how we digest the food so the food goes in the blood becomes fluid comes to the skin becomes fat goes to the bone bone marrow and then to your reproductive system and also we talked about some kind of anatomy structural and functional so this is totally biology so so guys yoga is a science okay and asanas or the postures are just part of yoga there are eight limbs of yoga and asanas are one of them obviously asanas and pranayam meditation and mantras you all know so these are the four parts like asanas are the postures the pranayam are the breathing exercises the meditation is calming your mind and mantras are the shlokas that you chant the prayers that you chant and how it affects your brain so these are the four but there are more four that you need to follow to understand yoga more good and all these things are like super 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 uh scientific and it's written in the vedas and the scriptures so it was already written before ad in bc that is more interesting that uh, they knew so much about the inner self and the body and also to how to exercise everything to make it more pure make it more good make the energy more good make it more vibrating make it more liberating making more positive all these things guys the yoga teachers and uh, this is the journey that i'm just going on so i cannot tell you how exactly how i feel because at the end of the course that would be a pretty good review for you guys that how exactly i feel about doing this course Thanks for watching the videos guys keep watching keep subscribing i hope this video is informative to you and you must have learned something about yoga and my teaching so thanks for watching